Here is another question from one of our viewers who was having a difficult time figuring out how to draw a curved arc from a couple of points on the deck that wasn't perfectly square. So let's go ahead and start out with a rectangle here with four 90 degree corners and a four sided shape with two 90 degree corners. And I think to simplify this, all you need to do is turn this into a rectangle or simply draw some lines at a 90 degree angle off of the center point of this line here in the same way you would do it for a rectangle to find the center and then we will draw a line down the center of this side here and then we will draw a circle from this point here to this point here and you can see where it's going to be the same over here and if I draw these lines in over here you can see where we have a shape like a rectangle and four 90 degree corners. And if I wanted to draw a arc or curved shape from this point to this point, then all I would need to do is find the center and then draw a line at a 90 degree angle off of this straight line. And then measure from this point to this point, because it's going to be over here somewhere, and then from that point to this point, and then draw a circle with that radius. So the radius of our circle is going to be the measurement from the center point to the corner and that's going to be the same on both sides. Now you don't need to go from the center of this side here to draw an arc. You can move it up and if I move it up and measure from this point to this point and use a smaller radius I'm going to get a smaller circle with a little wider arc to it. And if I move the center point down a little bit and use a larger radius I'm going to get a more shallow curve to it. So you can change the size of the arc or the curve by simply relocating the center point of your radius. And again, the radius is going to be from the corner to the center point. And again, should be exactly the same on both sides. And here's a quick example of what we would do if we were going to use the smaller side to create our arc. And again, we can change the size of the arc by relocating the center point and changing the radius almost anywhere along this line, as long as it is 90 degrees or perpendicular off of this line here. Next up, let's take a shape with only one 90 degree corner and see if we can create an arc from here to here. So we're no longer working with a rectangle and it won't help us at all to create a rectangle here. However, it will benefit you to draw a radius or create a circle from this line here. And that's simply going to be the length of this. So not too complicated. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to have a radius from here to here. And of course, for those of you who can kind of see what's going on here, these are going to be the same sized circles along with the last one that we are going to create by using this as our center point. And this method here will work for practically every situation where you're trying to get a arc on any line with any angles coming off the other side. Next up, let's go ahead and remove some of the other lines so you can get an idea of how we found the center point by using the radius of this circle and the radius of this circle here and then using this as a center point here to get our arc. And for those of you who are having a difficult time figuring out what I just did, that would be to create a shape that would look something like this. And if that makes sense, you can stop watching the video here. However, if it doesn't, then let's go ahead and take a look at another shape. And of course, this shape will have two 90 degree angles and we will be trying to find an arc for this point here using the same method. Center point, radius, 
curve. Next up, center point radius curve. Here's our spot, the magic center point, and then we're going to draw another circle to create an arc here. However, if I want to change the direction of the arc, all I need to do is go over to here and use this as a center point to create a different arc. And after I have drawn this circle and this circle, all I need to do is draw a straight line through here to use as a center line like we did in the rectangles. And if I wanted to make the arc a little larger, I would just simply move my pivot point a little closer. And if I wanted to make it a little more shallow, I would move the point farther away from this center point here. Another method would be to simply use smaller circles. For example, I'm going to use five foot circles here. So we're not going to be going from this point to this point. We're going to be using a smaller radius on both sides, but they need to be exactly the same. So we're going to have a five foot radius on both of these from the center point, center point, center point, five foot radius. And then we are going to use this point here to draw a five foot curve or arc. So again, a smaller circle is usually going to create a stronger shape or longer arc. And if I want to make this point a little shallower or a little shorter, I can use a larger circle. Here we're going to be using a 12 foot radius and then coming off of this center point and then this center point here. And then of course our new center point to draw our next circle and create a shallower arc. And again, this line right here, if we draw a line right across here and we could even extend it, we won't need to use different size circles to find different center points if that's going to work for your project. And our shape would look something like this when we are done. And if I didn't mention the shape I was using here didn't have any 90 degree angles on it. And like I said, as long as you have two points you can draw a straight line from and create a couple of circles, you're going to be able to create the arc that you need and it won't matter at all whether or not your deck or whatever you're building is perfectly square.